What's going on guys? My name is Garrett here on the Jobless Gamers channel. If you're my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Jobless Gamer family today because I do upload daily GTA 5 and GTA Online content. With that said, today we're talking about the brand new sports car that came with the brand new patch 1.17, the last team standing update. Now this car is a sports car and will be pretty costly in the legendary motorsport if you decide to buy it in GTA Online. Now you want to go over to Legendary Motorsport and go on over to the Fiora GT and you see that it costs $448,000 for a sports car. Now this is one of the most expensive sports cars in the game right now, especially when you compare its stats. As you guys can see, it's a 4 liter engine, the power is 280 horsepower, the top speed is 155 and it's 0 to 60 in 5 seconds. Now compare this to the Massacro, you have a 6 liter engine, a power of 480 horsepower, we have 193 as top speed, and 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, with only 275,000. Then we have the uh, Jester at 240,000, and it just doesn't make sense to buy this car if you really look at the grand scheme of things in terms of pricing. Now this is a beautiful car, but is it worth $448,000? I'll let you guys decide. Now. Let's go ahead and take this car to Los Santos Customs and see what this car can upgrade. Because, of course, if it's going to cost as much, maybe it has some really cool upgrades. Let's go on and take it over to Los Santos Customs to see exactly what we're paying for. So here we are entering Los Santos Customs. And I'm really excited to see if this car will really be worth its value. Now, $445,000 is a lot of money. For any, any money is a lot of money. So let's go ahead. We have armor. Max out the armor. Let's go to brakes. Max out the brakes to race brakes. Let's go to engine. EMS upgrade level 4. Horn. There's no new horns in this update, as you guys can see. Nothing really going on there. Lights. We're going to go with the Xenon lights. We're going to go ahead and skip plate. Skip the race brake suspension. Competition. Transmission. Go ahead and put race transmission. Turbo. Put turbo tuning. Wheels. Nothing really going on there. Windows. Let's go ahead and put some pure black. And that's all we have. That's right, guys. There's not really much customization to this car. And it really doesn't have that great of a value when you compare it to other cars that have great customization in Los Santos Customs. Now, this car is a great looking car, in my opinion. It is pretty nice. But is it really worth $445,000 or $400,000? It's really up to you guys. I personally believe you would rather, it'd be better to spend your money on a supercar, maybe in, in a future DLC, or maybe another sports car. Or you could buy the two the massacre and the jester for an equal price just about so let me know what you guys think in the comment section of this brand new vehicle personally i will not be buying it let me know what you guys think now whether or not this car is worth it once you upgrade it it's a totally different discussion because it's sort of not worth it at the beginning of you purchasing the car whether or not it's going to be worth it after you upgrade it it's a different story and you guys can be the judges of that and personally i will not be purchasing it. let me know in the comments if you will let's go for a thousand likes if you enjoyed this video make sure you guys stay tuned because i will be showcasing the brand new motorcycles as there's two new motorcycles as well as mask clothing weapons and more coming to the channel all today with 1.17 patch notes so stay tuned guys in the next 30 minutes i'll have another video and be on the lookout for that follow me on facebook twitter instagram to stay today with everything gta 5 and gta online and i'll see you guys in about 30 minutes